James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is February 9th, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had either four or five M flares, depending on how you'd like to look at it. We started the day off with a strong... M. See if we can get in there. 3.05, followed by just barely making an M, a 1.1 M flare, followed by an M 2.61, followed by an M shaped double M flare, starting with a M 1.21, followed by an M 1.43. Now, our baseline is still a C plus baseline, and all of these M flares have come from only two sunspots. That would be AR3213 and the newly named AR3217. Let's take a look at those real quickly. Okay, take a look at our star. You're very familiar with sunspot group AR3213. 3213. It's very complex. It's only been responsible for one of the M flares we've seen today. You say, well, where did all the other ones come from? 3217, the mega spot that has come around the limb, has produced the other four M flares, believe it or not. So those are not going to probably have an Earth component, although. We may very well see the atmosphere was ionized and the X-rays did hit our planet, but the M flare from 3213 should be inbound unless NASA tells us there was no chrome mass ejection formed. Heading over to go so ultraviolet imager, we see an M flare right there, the one that I spoke of, very active sunspot. It did produce some C9 uh, flares, so it has not been quiet, but most of the M flares are being produced over here, as you can see. From the sunspot that has just crested the limb, sunspot AR3217. We'll take a look at what we have on Lasco C3 as well. All right, we won't see any... Uh, Chrome mass ejection, earthbound, I feel sure, but let's look over to the left here. Where the new sunspot, AR3217, is. Constant streams. There's another one coming out of the right side there, but look how many different streams. You can see two large chrome mass ejections. One, two, right there. Just over the short time period on last scale. Did 3213 also send a chrome mass ejection towards Earth? I guess we will all have to wait and see because one is not visible here on NASCO as usual. It's been some while since I've seen any chrome mass ejections created by any sunspots that are Earth facing, if ever. Over to our D Region Absorption Prediction Center. Take a look at all the x-rays. There is one of your M flares right over Madagascar. All the x-rays hitting the planet. Remember, we're at a C-plus baseline, so everyone's getting a dose of radiation. Much higher than they should be. There's another M flare there over the Brazil. It's probably the double M flare that we saw right there. It's probably going to be the end of it. It looks like we're trying to have another flare right this second. So we could in fact be having a sixth M flare at the moment. Alright, this is our star today. Look at these two sunspots. Incredibly active. Ongoingly active. And you can also see that huge filament eruption coming from 3217 as it comes around. The day starts right now and look at all the action coming. Wow. 
Let's hope that does break up before it becomes earth facing. That's going to be a real problem. Look at these two sunspots actually working together, it appears. Even this one. It's like they're all hooked and working in tandem. And then when you see this thing come around, you should get scared, folks, because uh, it's really active, as you can tell. If any of these solar flares, especially the one that you saw two days ago, were Earth-facing, we'd be in a heap of trouble. I eat lights out. God bless you and yours. Please share and subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.